Copilot, it's the new Bing. And I know you want to get rid of it, or you wouldn't be here. Let's do it. Not so long ago, I showed everybody how to get rid of Bing from your start menu, from your taskbar, from Edge. And I've got to say, it was pretty popular. A lot of people have some real problems with Microsoft forcing Bing down our throats. Bing has now moved on to Copilot. And we've got the same sort of thing. We've still got traces of Bing here, but Copilot's taking over. So in this video, we're going to deal with all of it. And I have to say, in some areas, it's actually a little bit easier. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to notice that we'll get rid of Copilot in a minute. Let's get rid of Bing first. Now, on a default Windows 11 installation, this is the updated version right now with all the patches as of today, which is the 27th of October. So what we've now got, we used to have a Bing icon here. We've now got just this search icon. And if we tap that, it's going to bring open this screen. So this search screen, that's using information pulled from Bing. We'll get that too if we just click our start button and tap here in the search, we get that same thing. And of course we see the Bing icon that's there as well. If we tap that, that's gonna open up the Edge browser into Bing. Okay, that's one thing. And we'll get rid of that, but also notice that up in the top right here, the Bing icon that used to be there is now the Copilot icon. And we'll see how we can get rid of that in a minute as well. So first of all, let's deal with this down here and let's also deal with this, which is the harder one to get rid of of the two. So to get rid of this, it's actually quite simple. We can just right click on our start button and go to settings. We're then gonna to go to privacy and security. And there's quite a few things we can do in here to make Windows a little less intrusive on what we're doing. So everything's found here under search permission. So we're gonna click that. Now, as in the previous video, I recommended that we turn Microsoft account off, we turn off work or school account, so that way it's not gonna personalize all our results using Bing. Now, the other thing was this search highlights. If we actually tap that button, but watch down here with this little icon, that's gonna turn that off. So if you don't want that icon there, that is the simple solution for that alone. Now, if we go with the next option I'm gonna show you, that will also include this anyway. But what I still recommend you do is turn that off Turn off these two as well, so the Microsoft account and work or school account. Get rid of all of that. Down the bottom, we're gonna choose Windows privacy options. And in the previous video, I recommended that we turn all of these off. I still think the same thing, get rid of them. That means now, whilst this is still here, obviously we're not gonna get anything personalized to us based on our browsing history, but that still hasn't prevented this from showing, and it still hasn't prevented, obviously, the Bing icon. So let's deal with that one right now. We don't need this anymore. We're gonna hit start. We're gonna start typing in reg for the registry editor, and we're gonna open up this registry editor application that you see here. We're gonna say yes to making changes to our device. Okay, that's the registry editor. And if you've watched the previous video, you'd be familiar with this. So the key we're looking for here is under HK current user, we'll expand that. We're gonna expand software. We're gonna expand policies, Microsoft, and then Windows. And the key we're looking for is one called Explorer. Now on my machine and presumably yours, if you haven't done this before, it's not gonna be there. So we're gonna right click. We're gonna create a new key. We're gonna give that the name of Explorer, okay? Now when we just click in this window here, it's gonna select it by default. If it's not, just tap it here. And then we're gonna right click in the right hand side. We're gonna create a new D word 32 bit value. Now for the value, we're gonna type in disable search box suggestions. So that's all one word, disable search box suggestions, just as I've written it there. Now it's gonna default with this value of zero that you see on the right hand side. We need to change that. So we'll double click this and we're gonna change it to one. Just make sure it's still set to hexadecimal. We're gonna click okay. And now we'll restart our PC. So let's go and right click and we'll restart. Okay, Windows has just restarted. So now if we tap the start button and we click in here, you're gonna notice that not only do we not now have any of these predefined searches for us that are coming from Bing and Edge, we also don't have that icon there anymore. So that's gone, the icon here is gone. Obviously we still haven't dealt with Copilot down the bottom here, that's okay. We've still got to also deal with the Edge version showing Copilot here as well. Now, thankfully, this one's a little bit easier. Microsoft have presumably listened to all the complaints. And if we tap on this little settings, three little dots, and we go and choose settings, let's just 
Let's close that. Let's bring this into the middle. Over on the left-hand side, we're going to choose Sidebar. And here you can see Copilot. If we just select that, we've just got an option here, a little radio button to turn that off. So once I tap this, you're going to see that icon in the top right just simply close down. And that's it. So let's just open up Edge again. The icon's gone. Uh, it's still obviously there if you want it. You can just simply just go back into your settings, go back into sidebar, and then just turn that radio button on to have that icon appear again, should you change your mind. All right, but we're not gonna change our mind, are we? Because that's why we're here. So the next thing we've got to do is get rid of the Copilot preview, which is built into Windows 11. So if we tap that, we're gonna get this thing appear on the right-hand side, and it's pretty much always gonna be there until we get rid of it. Now there's two ways to get rid of this. I did do this in another video, but I'm going to give a quick version right now. Now how to do that is we can either just get rid of the icon or remove it completely. When I say remove it, I mean removing Copilot so it'll never appear again. By the way, you can just hit the Windows key and the letter C and that's the shortcut for bringing this up anyway, but you probably don't care about that because you're here to get rid of it, right? So to do that, we're going to open up our settings again. So we're going to right click on our start button. We're going to hit Settings, we're going to go to personalization. In the right hand side, we're going to scroll down, find our taskbar. There's our Copilot preview. If we just tap this radio button to turn it off, watch the icon down the bottom there. We'll tap that, icon disappears, it's no longer in your face. Now that doesn't mean you still can't hit the Windows key and the letter C and bring open the panel on the right hand side. That may be enough for you. That may be enough because you just don't want the icon there and you just don't want it in your face. And of course, just hitting the radio button again is going to bring that icon back. Now, if you do want to get rid of that permanently, the only real way to do that is through group policy. So to do that, we're going to hit start. We're going to start to type in GP edit. You'll get an option here to edit group policy. We'll open that up. Let's move this over to the right hand side. Now under our user configuration, we're going to expand administrative templates. We're going to expand Windows Components. We're going to scroll down and find Windows Copilot. Now we've got an option here in the right hand side to turn off Windows Copilot and the state is currently not configured. So this policy is not on or off. It's just not configured at all. So to change this, we're going to double click on it. It's going to open this new window. And as I said in the previous video, if you did watch that one, the key here is to really pay attention to what it's saying. Turn off Windows Copilot. And most people are just going to go straight away and go, oh, I want to disable it. So they're going to hit this. And that's the wrong one. Because essentially you're saying, I'm disabling turning it off, which means I'm turning it on. That makes sense. So what you want to do is enable it. So I'm enabling the policy to turn off Windows Copilot. So let's click OK on that one. It's gone. So now if we go and log off, because this is a user-based policy, what that means is that's in our session, our user session. So to fix this, we simply need to sign out and log back in again. So just quickly log back in. If I hit the Windows key and the letter C, nothing's happening. Of course, the icon's gone. If I right click on the start button and go to settings, and then I'll go to personalization, I'll go to taskbar, and you'll notice here that we don't even have a Copilot option anymore. It's been totally turned off by that group policy. Again, if you would like to reverse that, you would just simply come back and type in GP edit on the start button, edit group policy. We'll expand our under user configuration, administrative templates, windows components. I know you can't really read that. So let me just expand this window out. Find Copilot, there it is. There's our policy, which we'll now see is enabled. Let's open that up. And we can either set it back to not configured or disabled. And disabled will turn it off, obviously, so that it's turned on. Again, read it. Makes sense when you're saying it's going to turn off the Copilot. Disable that. That means it's going to turn it on. And I'll prove that. I'll go to disabled. I'll click OK. That icon's back already. And now, if we go and right-click on our Start button, hit Settings, go to Personalization, go to Taskbar, there's the icon back. But our shortcut won't work yet. If you hit Windows key and let us see, you'll see nothing happened over there. To fix that, we'll just simply need to log out and back in again. Okay, we just logged back in. Let's hit Windows key and the letter C. And obviously that panel on the right-hand side is now back. 
So there's one other thing I do want to talk about because I did get this question in the previous video. And so I'm going to address it here just in case people are watching this one and have never come from that one. So let's open up our Edge browser. Now, obviously, the other thing you can see is this is starting at the Microsoft Start page, which is using Bing. And a lot of people have said, oh, I don't want to use that. I want to use Google. Totally understand. If you're here for getting rid of Copilot and getting rid of Bing, it's a good chance that you're not a Bing user on the search either. So let's fix this. To do that, we're going to hit these little three icon, little three dots here for open up the settings. We're going to go to settings. We're going to go to privacy search and services. We're going to scroll down all the way to find address bar and search. Here you're going to see the engine, search engine used in the address bar, and that's Bing. So we're going to change that to Google. Now, I did also get a question about what do I do if Google doesn't appear? Because in my machine, it doesn't appear. I'll address that at the end. That way, you don't have to sit through watching this. And then if that does affect you, just skip to the end, and, and you'll be able to see that. OK, so on new tabs, what are we going to do? We're going to use the search box or the address bar. The search box is the default which is still Bing. So we're going to change that to the address bar. Now, next on the left, we're going to choose Start Home and New Tabs. Now, in the middle, I like to show the Home button on my machine. It's up to you whether you do. If you do, just turn this radio button on. I'm going to then change this to a URL. That URL for me is going to be Google. I'll hit Save. Now you see the Home button up there. If I hold down Control, which will just allow me to open up a new tab, and I hit the Home button, you'll see now that opens up to Google, which is brilliant. However, if I open up a new tab, that still opens up with Bing. And that's where people had a question about this. How do I do this? Well, unfortunately, Microsoft haven't made it easy for you to change this. There is a way to do it, and that's to use an extension. So to do that, we're going to open up settings again up the top right. We're going to choose extensions. We're going to open up the Microsoft extensions website. I'm going to search for custom new tab. There's the extension here to be able to change any new tab to anything you want. See, there's a whole bunch of them you can choose. This one seems to have a few decent results. I'm going to choose Get. It's going to say, do we want to add that? Yes, we do. Now, to turn this extension on, we're going to go back to Settings. We're going to go to Extensions. We're going to Manage Extensions. There's our custom new tab. We're going to turn that on. Now we'll just go back up to settings again. We're going to choose extensions. This time you'll see custom new tab is there. We'll select that. We'll enter in our URL. In this case, I'm going to use Google. You could use whatever you like. You could use your company's internet homepage if you like. So we'll click save. All right. Now we're done. So now if I hit the new tab, you can see that's Google. And I can do this all day, every day, and it's going to be Google every single time. Now, earlier I did allude to the fact that if you were in your settings and you're at your privacy search and services and all the way down the bottom, dress bar and search, and you didn't have Google as an option here, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So what we will do is we will go to manage search engines. You can see that Google is the default and it's here. I'm going to change this to, let's just say, change this back to Bing just for the moment. I'm going to go and remove Google. It doesn't exist anymore, okay? So you can't see it. It's not available. So I can still do this new tab, but I can't have the default search as that in the search bar because it just uh, simply doesn't exist. So let's click Add. We're going to type in Google for the search engine. We could call that whatever you want. It's just a text string, but Google makes sense if we're doing Google. For the shortcut field, we're going to type in google.com. And for the URL, here's a string that you need to paste in. Now, I'm going to just, I'll have this in the description of the video anyway, so you can just copy it from there. But this is what we're talking about, this whole thing here. So that's quite a string of information. So let's paste that in here. We're going to click Add. Now we'll go to our Google and we'll make that the default. Everything is back. Everything is working. If we go and click Start, you're going to see now that we don't have Bing searching stuff. We don't have the icon anymore. We've told you how to get rid of the icon here. Obviously, the icon doesn't exist there anymore. New tabs, Bing is gone. So Bing is gone from everything. Your life is cleansed once more. 
and when this changes, because inevitably it will, Microsoft are going to change things all the time and keep throwing Copilot now down your throats. And when that changes, I'll be there to fix it for you. So don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I'd really appreciate that. Don't forget to leave your comments, your likes, feedback, whatever you like, and I will address that there as well. So you have a fantastic day. You are now cleansed of all of the evils of Copilot and Bing. Enjoy yourself. Bye-bye.